Steve Andrews is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, 8 on your side investigates. It's a very barbaric policy. Three-month-old kittens neutered, vaccinated, then released onto Hillsborough County streets to fend for themselves. Cat rescues and animal lovers are outraged, claiming these kittens don't stand much of a chance. This is part of the county's effort to control its wild or feral cat population. And according to our Eight on Your Side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews, these changes to the program have flown under the radar, and some folks are not happy. No, they're not. Uh, what the Pet Resource Center sold county commissioners about this trap, neuter, vaccinate, and release program, otherwise known as TNVR, much different than what's going on today. It was going to microchip these cats, keep track of them, caretakers would feed them, and the cats had to be at least six months old. Not anymore. Hi, how are you doing? These are three pound kittens, tiny, frail. Frightened. They're too young to take care of themselves. They don't understand where to get food. Doesn't matter. Hillsborough County's Pet Resource Center determined if they're found outside, kittens this size can now be trapped, neutered, vaccinated, and released. TNVR, like these cats, we saw dumped in neighborhoods, on streets, in the woods in 2016. Lizanne Quinn works with Rescue Me Tampa. I'm not for killing cats, and I'm not against TNVR, but it was intended for feral cats. Not for baby kittens. A 12 week old kitten is a baby. Feral cats are wild, live off the land, terrified of humans. In 2013, Hillsborough commissioners voted to pay the Humane Society of Tampa Bay to trap, neuter, vaccinate, and release feral cats. These are cats the county determined are wild and should be TNVR'd. This baby is a five-year-old female. They look terrified of humans to you? Affectionate cats shouldn't be out on the street like that. PRC slated this cat, Luigi, his brother and mother, for the feral cat program. He was just over three pounds. His brother was just under three pounds. And... As you can see, he's sick. Um, he was sick when they when they were planning to send him out. Which would be like putting a grade schooler out to fend for themselves. Lauren Tillotson of CJ Paws rescued Luigi and family. He suffered from upper respiratory and highly contagious eye infections. Not only was Luigi a baby like this, he was and still is sick. You have, you know, diseases, you have predators, coyotes. If they go out the door, and they get dumped on the street, it's considered a live release. And our shelter director does get bonuses when he hits live release numbers that they're trying to get. No one would take a five-year-old child and drive them out to the Bronx and dump them off on a corner and say, hope you do OK. Now, in 2016, I reported that 45% of PRC Director Scott Trebitoski's evaluation is tied to, releasing, uh, tied to raising live release numbers at the shelter each year by at least 5%. Now, I requested an interview with Trebitoski. Neither he or anyone at the Pet Recent Resource Center would talk to me, but he also today, he was very busy writing an email to commissioners, a lengthy email about my story, citing loads of statistics but never denying the changes were made or that he's putting three pound kittens on the street. And I got a call from a rescue today. They're looking for a four pound kitten in the uh, Country Hills Boulevard area of Plant City that the county put on the streets as a result of this program. So another live release for you, Mr. Trebitoski. And they are releasing these cats younger than they used to. What yeah. other changes? Well, in the latest standard operating procedure, there is no mention of the caretakers that are supposed to feed these cats. No one's keeping track of these animals, and they're not being microchipped. Now, Commissioners Merman, Hagen, and Miller all bought into this program in 2013. I guess I wonder how they'd vote now if they knew Trebitoski was going to put these three-pound kittens on the streets. Hmm. Well, maybe you ought to ask them. I am. Give them, give them, give them a call. Maybe yeah. they'll call in. I sent a text out. <laughs> if you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline, the telephone number 1 800 338 0808.